Khaled Kajomi is a member of Arab and Islamic relations with Hamas. He joins us by Skype from an undisclosed location. Many thanks for speaking to us on Al Jazeera. Uh, Netanyahu has made it clear again today publicly that he has no intention of backing down in its targeting of Hamas and its affiliates in Gaza. What is your response to that? Uh, thank you for having me. Um, uh, and thank God that you are reporting from Gaza, the time the Israeli arsenal has attacked the media offices in Al Jala Tower. Uh, Netanyahu is saying that it means more escalation. It more means more instigating to more reaction from our people and the resistance from Gaza. The time he is insisting in uh, uh, imposing our uh, uh, human di humanitarian dire situation and uh, co continuing committing crimes against humanity and war crimes in Gaza. This is what the Netanyahu attitude for us. Uh, uh, in resistance, we have a reaction against the atrocities and the offensive of, uh, of Netanyahu and his army. That's what we are doing. The key for any uh, de-escalation is in the hand of the aggressors, that is, the Israeli uh, 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 army. OK, you say you are determined to continue then. But when Hamas fires rockets, it's the civilians in Gaza who are paying the price with their livelihoods. So far, 227 people killed, 64 of them children. How do you live with that? Yeah, we, we, are, we are feeling really very sad and we are to the depth of our heart because they are our children, they are my family, they are every family over there. The problem is that we did not have a choice. This war has been imposed on us. Rather, it's not a war. It's an aggression. It's an offensive from the Israeli sides. They have attacked our innocent people in Al-Aqsa Mosque and in the city of uh, Sheikh Jarrah and the suburb of, uh, of Al-Quds city. And uh, they are keeping continuing targeting, targeting civilians. It's not the rockets of Hamas. Rocket of Hamas has stopped uh, the, the atrocities, has, has, has minimized the atrocities uh, and, uh, of the Israeli uh, aggressions. What we need to know over here that we are defending ourselves and the international community is not giving us a choice. Look at what the American administration, how they have uh, 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 prevented the uh, real situation from the international community when they have hampered the Security Council statements vis-a-vis uh, -vis the incidents over there. And the time they are, as your reporter was saying from there, that they uh, did not tell moment call for the ceasefire, having said that, that they want to give more opportunities to the killing of our people, to Netanyahu and his army uh, from our people in Gaza. And they still uh, uh, sending a lot of aids and hundreds of millions of aids, around about 370 million, I think, uh, as an external aid to the actual aids, where they are giving it of $500 million a year as, an, uh, as a yearly annual uh, aids to the Israeli arsenal. The thing is that, to, to cut it short, that we, we are with no choice. We are defending ourselves. If the enemy will stop, do we, we, will, we will negotiate okay. the stop of that. Tell moment what we are receiving from the mediators is nothing uh, 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 reached to the seriousness uh, of the situation in Gaza. OK, you say you have no choice. Israel says Hamas is using uh, resident buildings and people living in Gaza as shields, uh, which is why they end up being targeted. What is your response to that? Actually, we have been listening to this propaganda and this lie for the last four offensive over Gaza. Why did they have shot the media offices in Al Jala Tower if they are uh, not afraid from the actual ugly face of the of the atrocities of Israelis? Can I ask, uh, were, were, there, a, were there any Hamas operatives in that building, in the Al Jala building? No, no, no. Maybe we, maybe we were having uh, uh, some uh, media offices. I, I don't remember in that. But we have uh, around about 18 to 20 offices from different countries in the world, regional and internationally. Second thing which I want to say, that if they are really 
uh, mean it about about this lie? Why didn't they show us a satellite uh, uh, images which shows those missiles are coming or using the the human shelters? So, so just yeah, to be clear, just fabric. to be clear, you you said uh, Hamas had media offices in the Al Jala building. Maybe I don't I don't know really exactly. Israel says it's destroyed a lot of your infrastructure, uh, Hamas's infrastructure, including underground tunnels, and that it's going to set you back years. What is your response to that? This is another, I mean, uh, 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 lie which they uh, uh, aim to attack on the spirit of the uh, resistance uh, setups over there. Uh, we are continuing with our rockets, and maybe it will be in more ranges and more destructive. We've managed for the last 48 hours to attack over air bases of the uh, Israeli army. We've managed to attack their energy lines. Uh, we've managed to attack their own uh, military quarters. And uh, we still over there. I mean, uh, let them say whatever they say. The field can judge how much we are still uh, on our uh, uh, position, uh, uh, power-wise and effective-wise, to defend our innocent people in Gaza and in all over Palestine. But at the end of the day, uh, no matter how much uh, damage or how little damage you inflict on Israel, it's not an even playing field. Israel is much stronger than you militarily, so you will always lose the battle. Is, uh, uh, isn't is that the case? This is a good question. Yeah, this is a good question. Actually, we need to remember that we are uh, adapting what's so-called low-intensity in warfare. That is the guerrilla war, war because it's an asymmetrical uh, war. Uh, we are not an army. We are not a state. But we are resistance against a, 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 a classical, conventional arsenal which are using the state of art uh, in the military industry like F-35 and the missiles which they are reaching to the uh, 60 meters in the ground. But on the other hand, uh, today I was uh, uh, checking for the targets that the resistance were able to do with. We were able to engage with our enemy in the air as our drones are there, which they are having their own cameras and they are having with our propellants and they manage to attack on the military targets and go back with information. On the other hand, we have managed to attack on the batteries of the Iron Dome. The batteries of the Iron Dome, for those strategists or those military specialists, they know when you want to target a, 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 a something which is really a constant or a moving target, you need to know very well the uh, X and Y and the GPS uh, uh, stat statistics of those things. But So resistance, they were man able to uh, incur a big loss in the enemy. I was talking about the low intensity warfare, which is uh, based on two major elements. That is the security uh, burden or cost, I would say, and the economy cost. Today, the stock exchange in Israel has lost more than 30 percent of its stock exchange. And uh, uh, on the society aspects, there are more than 70 percent of the Israeli uh, uh, society. They are living their life uh, uh, with more tension in the shelters because of the policies of their own leadership. This is how we proceed further. Okay. Our military creed. So yes. clearly, clearly, your weaponry uh, has improved since previous conflicts. You are able to do more damage uh, than you have had uh, been able to do in previous years. Uh, where are you getting uh, your weapons and expertise from? Good question again. <laughs> this is this is an aggregated expertise which has been learned by our people and our men who has managed to. Uh, uh, to have this all uh, experience with the passage of time and with uh, having a, a, a coordination and uh, exchange of information with the all uh, Muslim uh, Ummah, if you would say, and all uh, 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 places, which is a, a granted right for us because we are living beneath occupation. So we have right to gather all expertise from everywhere 
uh, let it be uh, as uh, somebody, uh, let it be Iran or let it be any other places which we have taken exp experiences and which we have taken, we have gained experiences and we have gained also physical uh, uh, rockets and, uh, uh, and the expertise on the range level and on the uh, uh, magnitude of the explosion and also on the accuracy. Our people are very educated and well-educated uh, men uh, they, that they have uh, tried to train themselves even uh, uh, locally. And uh, we are proud to know that uh, most of our uh, setup, uh, military setup today, is being uh, uh, in, uh, uh, created and, in, uh, and developed with local uh, capabilities. If Israel was to come to you uh, now with a ceasefire, would you, uh, would you stop? Uh, and what would your conditions be? See, the, this question uh, should be like, there are some requirements for any step to be taken forward. Uh, what we have started is a reaction to atrocities which has been committed. We have submitted our own requirements and demands to the mediators, uh, the regional one, Arab Muslims, and the international uh, uh, envoys who came to us. And uh, till the moment we, well, I would say there are some serious efforts with them from mediators, but till the moment we did not receive any good sign from the other side that they are really serious to stop their, their atrocities. Nobody should ask us as a victim what you will do, what if. I would ask the same question. They should have taken, they should have brought some answers from those aggressors and, of, uh, and offenses uh, and, and uh, oppressors. This is exactly what I want to say. I mean, uh, after all, everybody from us Palestinian, uh, uh, the blood of his family, the blood of those innocent children is very uh, uh, dear to them. Uh, there are some requirements. We have been now uh, uh, almost 12 or 13 days. Those requirements has to be fulfilled to, dis to discuss further uh, about what is called ceasefire. So I just wonder what your end game is here, because we've seen this before 2006, 2008, 2014. This keeps happening again and again. Uh, the land and air and sea blockade doesn't end. Gaza is still besieged. More of your people die. And yet here you are. You sound proud of what you've achieved in terms of your military abilities. Yes, we, see, we are, we are having our noble cause. Those sacrifices are, uh, it's the price of our freedom, uh, the price which we are offering it in the track of our freedom. On the other hand, we are uh, having the international community who are still not able to impose a real guarantee to make uh, the Israeli side uh, abide by and behave according to the deal. Uh, the dates which you have mentioned, uh, always you just ask the international community and international institutions, they will tell you boldly that the Israeli side has violated every deal which we have broke with them. And every time those guaranteeing sides, they are helpless because the Israelis simply are always running immune with their own crimes at even United Nations, who claim that they want to make the world more safer. Uh, if they are really claiming this, we have tens, rather hundreds of resolutions against Israel, uh, but unfortunately they are without teeth, without empowering uh, tools in order to make Israel behave and abide by those, uh, by those deals. Khaled Kadami, uh, many thanks for your time. Khaled uh, Kadami, a member of Arab and Islamic relations with Hamas.